Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lord, and we are in week number 17, final week of the regular season. We're going to be taking on the Green Bay Packers. Now, if you look at the standings, both of both us and the Green Bay Packers have the best records in the NFL. We're currently 13 and 2. They are 12 and 3. So they're the best team in the NFC. We are the best team in the AFC. This could possibly be a Super Bowl preview. So you see Aaron Rodgers coming out onto the field. 38 touchdowns, only 9 interceptions. So we know Aaron Rodgers is the ball, but hopefully we can try to shut him down a little bit in this ball game. So we're going to start off this commentary. First and 10, Aaron Rodgers is going to go with the play fake. He's going to roll to his right, throw it across his body, and he is going to find Jordy Nelson on the reception. Now the very next play, Aaron Rodgers is going to drop back, but he will be brought down for a sack. So it is now 2nd and 17 for the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers will drop back. He will look. He will find Randall Cobb. He will be short of the first down marker. So it is now third and eight for Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers is looking to pass once again. He cannot find an open receiver. and He will end up being brought down as he tried to throw it. So here comes Marcus Mariota. 32 touchdowns, 16 interceptions, almost 4,500 yards passing for Mariota this season. So he's going to hand it off to C.J. Carr. And he will be stripped on the first play from scrimmage for the Tennessee Titans. And now the Green Bay Packers have the ball in great field position. They're going to hand it off to Eddie Lacy. He will only get one yard on that carry. Now third and nine for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is going to look to pass. He will find Eddie Lacy, who will get a juke move, and he will end up picking up the first down. So now at the 17-yard line, Aaron Rodgers is in an empty formation. He's going to look to throw, and he is going to find Jordy Nelson, who gets into the end zone for a touchdown. So the Green Bay Packers will score first. And they are leading 7 to nothing against the Tennessee Titans. So now on our next possession, we're trying to hand it off to C.J. Carr to, to try to get him to forget about that fumble and try to get him back in another groove. So we hand it off to him on 2nd and 5. He's going to break a tackle, and C.J. Carr will pick up the first down. Now later on in the drive, it is 3rd and 6 for the Titans. We're going with a play fake. Mariota will throw this one deep for Doyle going back him, who comes up with the catch, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. So we are going to answer back just like that. The score is now 7-7. Seven to seven. This is all tied up. So now Green Bay has the football. Second to five for them. Aaron Rodgers is going to throw this one quickly as he sees the blitz coming. And that is going to be Randall Cobb who is taking this one to the crib. A 74-yard reception for um, Randall Cobb and Aaron Rodgers. So now they're leading 14 to 7. We're going to hand this one off to CJ Carr now. He's going to pick up the first down. Now the very next play, we're going with the play action. We're going to roll out to the right, throw it to our left, and that is going to be Josh Gordon who comes up with the reception. Now in the second quarter, there's going to be Mariota and Shaka once again looking for Josh Gordon once again, and he will pick up about 14 yards for the first down. The very next play, Mariota is going to drop back. He's going to roll out to his right. He's going to decide to keep it. He will run all the way down to about the three yard line. So we have the ball in great field position. Second and goal now for Tennessee. We're lobbing this one up for Josh Gordon. He makes the catch, but he cannot get his feet in bounds. So now third and goal. We're going with the play fake. We're going to throw this one across our body. And that's going to be Delaney Walker comes up with the catch, and that is a touchdown. So this game is tied up at 14 apiece once again. Here's Aaron Rodgers now. He's going to throw it. He's going to find Jordy Nelson for the reception. Now first and 10, the very next play. He's, he's going to be Aaron Rodgers dropping back. He sees the pressure. He breaks out of a sack, and he almost throws the interception, which would have been his 10th of the season. Now third and 10, Aaron Rodgers drops back. He's going to look, and this time he will throw an interception to D'Angelo Hall, who undercut that route. And now we have the football in great field position, but it is third and 13. We need to convert on this play. This is going to be Mariota trying to throw it deep, but he gets brought down before he can get rid of it. So we end up putting the football right back to Green Bay. And now this is Aaron Rodgers throwing it down the field, and this one is deflected down. So now third and 14 for Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers is dropping back. He has plenty of time to throw it, and he will eventually find his man on the wheel route down the sideline for a first down. Now, a couple plays later, it is third and 15 for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is dropping back. He is looking to his left this time. He will throw it, but he will find D'Angelo Hall for his second interception of the game. 
And D'Angelo Hall is going to take this one to the crib as nobody was in front of him. Taking another look at it, a fantastic interception by D'Angelo Hall. Just absolutely making a great playmaking play to go ahead and score that touchdown. So now the next possession for the Green Bay Packers. They are now trailing by seven points. Aaron Rodgers with a drop back. And this time he will throw interception number three on the day. And look at the spin move to get past Rodgers. And now this is Williamson taking this one to the crib for another touchdown. So just like that, the Tennessee Titans will score two defensive touchdowns. And we are now leading in this ball game 28 to, to 14. Now, our next possession of offense, we're throwing this one deep to Kendall Wright, who gets brought down at the 14 yard line with seven seconds left. That will end up setting us up for a field goal right before halftime. So, going into the half, we are leading the Green Bay Packers 31 to 14. So, now in half number two. We have the football first, and now the very first play from scrimmage. We're going to look, and we're going to find C.J. Carr, who breaks out of a tackle, and he will end up bring, being brought down at the 29-yard line. Now, a couple plays later, we're going to hand it off to Carr again. He's going to bounce to the outside, and he will end up getting a gain of seven on that carry. Now, second and three, we are going to run a slip screen to Amir Abdullah. He's going to be able to catch this one in stride. Now, Amir Abdullah is going to stop. Now, he's going to cut up the field. Now, Amir Abdullah is off to the races taking this one down the sideline and that will be another touchdown for the Tennessee Titans and we are in a commanding position at this point up 38 to 14 against the Green Bay Packers now the next play this is going to be a fumble by Jordy Nelson but fortunately for Green Bay they will be able to fall on the football now it is third and six Aaron Rodgers has time. He's throwing this one deep down the field, and this one will fall incomplete. So they will have to punt the ball. And we have our dangerous rookie, Eduardo Russell, back there. He will muff the punt, but he will pick it up. And now he's going to reverse field, and Eduardo Russell is going to cut it up the field. Now he is off to the races. He just needs one block down the field, and he will get that block right there. And Eduardo Russell will take this one to the house for a touchdown. But... This one will be brought back by an illegal block in the back. So now we're trying to get something going on the offensive side of the football. We're going with a play action, but we will be sacked by Matthews, and we will have to punt the ball back to Green Bay. Now on their possession, it is third and two. Look at this play. Eddie Lace is going to get stuck behind his lineman, and then he will end up bouncing it to the outside, and Jason McCourty will save the touchdown with that tackle. Now it is first and ten for Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers looking, and he will find his target, Montgomery, who was wide open down the sideline, going down to the 18-yard line. Now two plays later on second and seven, Aaron Rodgers is dropping back. And he is going to find Jordy Nelson, who comes up with the catch. And is now going to be third and two for Green Bay. They're going to hand this one off up the middle, and we will come up with the stop. Green Bay will have to settle for a field goal, so it is now 38-17. to 17. And we're going to go ahead and cue this music one more time, giving our man Eduardo Russell a chance to try to finally get into the end zone. He's going to bounce to the outside, and Eduardo Russell is off to the races once again. For the second time in the ball game. he will reach the end zone. This one will count, however. And the Tennessee Titans, we will end up pretty much running out the clock in the fourth quarter. Green Bay will score some points, but it really did not matter. As we absolutely dominated this game. We end up taking this one 45-31. to 31. We finished the season with a 14 and two record so we clearly have home field advantage throughout the playoffs we just beat the top team in the nfc as long as we can keep up performances like this we should reach the super bowl without too much of an issue now looking at the stats mariota went 11 for 21 he did have 216 yards passing and three touchdowns however which is not bad whatsoever so CJ Carr, 18 carries, which is right where I wanted to be around that 18 to 20 carry mark. 110 yards, 6.1 yards per carry. And then for our receivers, Josh Gordon had three catches. He led the way, but our receivers typically don't do too much. But that is it for this episode. As always, leave me in the comment section below who do you think was player of the game this week. Also, please leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.